Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to compare table schemas using a simple SQL script in Greenplum. Have you ever been in this situation where you need to do troubleshooting? Your boss says, the application just crashed. Quick, go fix it. And you got to go fix it. But to fix it, you first need to find it. And you think to yourself, ugh, somebody changed something somewhere, but what and where? And then after an hour of misdirected troubleshooting and rabbit holes that you fall down, you discover the root cause. Somebody ran a script that reduced the size of two Varkar fields from 20 and 25 down to 15 and 15. So the tables changed. That was the root cause. Or maybe you've been in this situation trying to figure out how to test. So your project manager says, well, the good news is Project X is finally ready to deploy to stage. And you say, that's great. And then the project manager says, well, the bad news is we're not sure everything was properly managed with source control for the release. Uh-oh, you think to yourself. And then the ugly news. Project manager says, you'll need to compare against dev and test environments to check for any missing elements that didn't make it out to stage. <laughs> Some specific examples of table schema comparisons where you take schema snapshots, drop them to text files, and then compare either over time or against different instances are as follows. Number one, environments. Maybe you want to compare dev to stage or stage to prod. Number two, versions, releases. Maybe you want to compare the current versus prior schemas. Number three, events. Maybe you have a data refresh that occurs on weekends. Maybe you have some other scheduled change and you want to compare before versus after schemas. And finally, number four, history. Maybe you want to automate taking daily schema snapshots by running the script or scheduling it to run and output the results to a text file. And that way you can have, say, 60 days of historical snapshots. And any of those days can be your before versus after when you do your comparisons to try and troubleshoot a problem. One quick caveat, this script is limited to tables and views only. And although I've built tools that compare all elements, like when test gears MS SQL diff merge that I built about 10 years ago, the decision was made not to do so here because 80% of the time the root cause is in the tables and keys. So we just keep things simple by avoiding functions and sort procedures and triggers and all the other things we could go into. And 80% of the time, this is important, the average user lacks permissions to go deeper into the sort procedures and stuff anyway. So we're just keeping it simple, going for the Pareto principle, covering what 80% of the need is with simple scripts. So how do you run the scripts to compare, for example, environments? Well, the process looks something like this. First, you start out with the simple schema dump script. And we're going to see where to download that in a minute from GitHub. And then you run that against that script against the database. In this case, we're going to run it against dev. And then we output the results of the script to a text file. So then we have a dev schema snapshot the table, the field names, field sizes, all that good stuff in a text file. Then we run the script again, but this time against stage. And we output it again, but this time against the stage snapshot. And then you use your favorite text diffing utility and you compare the two text files and you get a side-by-side -side comparison that quickly identifies, hey, here's the few areas that are different. How do you run the script to compare against history? Well, the process looks something like this. You start out with the same simple schema dump script. You run it on day one, get a snapshot. Run it again on day two, get a snapshot. Day three, get a snapshot. Day four, get a snapshot. And then on day five, you run it and get a snapshot. The text file, but an event happens and you want to know, oh, I want to compare day five against day one. Use your text diffing tool, load up the text file for both days and compare. And you'll quickly identify any elements that are different. And now the demo for downloading the script. Open up a browser and then in the URL go to github.com slash data research labs, all one word, and then hit enter on that. And when the screen comes up, scroll down till you hit uh, SQL scripts, going into SQL scripts, and you're going to want the green plum schema diff. Right now it's one link, it won't be as soon as I add more folders. So you'll hit screen. SQL scripts, green plum, schema diff, and then there's the folder. Now you can download this and do a pull request if you want. But what I'm going to do is click the link, click the raw button, highlight inside, control A, control C, and now I've copied the contents of the script to the clipboard. I can go paste it to a notepad file and run it. So that's the fastest way to download the script. And the demo for capturing the schema snapshots in green plum. This one's not going to be a live demo. I'm just going to have screenshots 
from a different system. So here I've loaded the SQL script into Toad. And it's ready to run and I've obfuscated the uh, schema, but that's the only thing that you have to do is enter the schema in that slot and then run the script. And after I run the script, the results show up in the bottom window here. I had to obscure the results again, but basically the output is going to have table name, table name, or view name. And then it's going to have the columns, the column names, and then some of the properties, ordinal value, data type, and whether or not it's nullable. And it also includes the indexes, if there are any. And in green plum, there's no primary keys, foreign keys to speak of. There's distributed keys. And so those are listed along with the columns that are a part of the distributed key or that make it up. So you get all of those details dumped out in the results. And then what you do is you right click the results in Toad, at least whatever IDE you use, you might have a different way after running the script to export the results. What I'm gonna do with Toad is right click the results, export, export wizard. The wizard comes up to step one. I basically leave all the defaults, click next. Step two comes up tells me the columns that the script spits out, schema name, table name, et cetera. I just click next, leave it alone. And then I do pick a different file name for output. I set this one up to be CSV. So I go browse to the location and then I hit next a couple more times, click finish and voila, my CSV file is completed. The dump of the schema, the snapshot of the schema is output to text file for, in this case, today's picture of the schema and I have a version of yesterday or I could have dev versus test whatever you just take the snapshots of whatever state you want and then you compare them and the final demo for how to compare the schema snapshots first you'll need a text diffing tool uh, my favorite is source gear diff merge just look that up in Google click source gear diff merge the download the top one here diff merge source gear click that and then right there, download now, follow the instructions and you'll have it. You'll see what that looks like in a minute. Alternatively, I also like uh, Presto Soft uh, Exam Diff is another good one. Not the pro, but the base version. And the top one there, Exam Diff for your visual component, click that, scroll down, there's your download. Not the pro, that'll cost you money, has extra features, just the regular download. So either of those will work great and I re highly recommend both of them. And the demo for comparing schema snapshots. So here's yesterday's dump of that PG admin default schema system tables. And here's today's dump. And actually they didn't change, but I mocked up some changes. So if these really had changed, how would we go about diffing them? Well, in the prior section, you learned about exam diff or diff merge. I'm going to use the diff merge tool and I'm going to first click on file that's my baseline that I want on the left side of my page. And I'm going to press down on the control key and select the second file and I'm in Windows File Explorer. Once I have these selected, I right click and after I've run diff merge once, it'll automatically install itself into the Windows File Explorer pop-up context menu. So when I right click, there it is. And I want the 10 on the left. So I'm going to select this option. I could change them. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And here we go. There's my side by side comparison. And there's quite a few lines. Control end 1438. So there's a lot of tables and fields. I think there's like 80 tables and another 50 views. They're all laid out here along with all their columns. Up here, there's not that many differences in red. The red indicates where there's differences. So I'm just going to jump down to the first difference. On the 10th, these two index fields existed and they no longer do here. Uh, quick tangent, this script alphabetically organizes everything. So it's gonna organize it by schema, then by table, and then by the object name. And that way it'll compare side to side over time or across environments. Anyway, that's the first difference, index missing. Jump to the next, same drill, different table, index is missing. Jump to the next, on the 10th, we had integers that were 32 bytes for the uh, PG catalog, PG attribute table, and the attribute at, at target column. It was 32, that's 64. Same thing down here on these three columns. 
32, 32, 32, up to 64. Now let's jump, jump. And this one, it's our last difference. Rule ID, no underscore on the 10th. On the 11th, an underscore was inserted in the name. And there you have it. That is how you take a schema dump over here and a schema dump on the other side and compare them and walk through the differences to see what changed over time across environments or whatever. Wow, you're still watching. Thank you. And bonus tip for you. This script uses the information schema. And here on Wikipedia, why that matters, those information schema views are ANSI standard. And that means they're universal. And that means that it's cross-platform with light syntactical changes you can use these scripts in Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, Sybase, and PostgreSQL. And all those platforms have tables and views, so it's not much change. If you want to on your own, you can go deeper into the information schema views, and different platforms will have different elements, but you can go from there. Anyway, information schema views, pretty neat. Thank you for watching, and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and subscribe. Also, check out our other videos and related playlists in the boxes to the right.